After Trump was elected in 2016, and the inauguration weekend, 2017, January, that weekend I went to some of the women's marches and protest actions that were happening, but I felt so empty, like what else can I do? So that same weekend as the inauguration and protests, I wrote the pronouns.org website. The website now has had 10 million views. I really wrote it for me, and it felt like I was trying to almost bend the world to also support myself, including with like my family and wanting my family to use the right pronouns, but also being tired of explaining what are pronouns and why are we talking about this and what are good practices and what's some of the history of it. International Pronouns Day then launched in October of 2018. It's the third Wednesday of October each year. And it has attracted attention and tweets and posts from uh, various people, from Justin Trudeau to Kamala Harris. So it's gotten an international reach um, through social media. But I actually think the most powerful work that people do is more personal, interpersonal, than just throwing something out on the internet. And that has come a lot through workshops people have done, local conversations people have had, and the ways people have been able to then talk with their friends and say, did you know it's International Pronouns Day? Actually, my pronouns are, and then to be able to share about that, but also to hopefully be respected and heard and have that reflected back for people.